Hey, this is Coach Rod, your number one kingdom relationship coach. How y'all doing? Coach Rod here with another video. Listen, I want to get right into it. Um, I want to talk about men are devil's standard. And not all men, but most men, you know. Uh, I, I used to be devil's standard, but, you know, I matured enough to uh, not be that way. Um, because I, you know, I've learned that, you know, everything should not be blamed on women, but for the longest, for years, society have always done that. And it gotten worse. Um, for an example, you know, a woman can be you no know, made mistakes in her past. A woman can have three kids, three or two baby daddies. And she get judged for that. If she wants to change, if she wants to grow, because here's the thing. A lot of men and women, you know, are not raised on how to pick up men. A lot of women wasn't raised on how to pick up men, what real love is about. So a lot of women, when they were young, because <laughs> most women don't have a father figure. They teach them the game. And some women do have a father figure, do have a father in the house, and he didn't teach them. Because a lot of men, just something a lot of men don't do. A lot of men don't teach their daughters, you know, the game. So a lot of women grow up choosing the wrong man, making mistakes, and um, getting babes out of wedlock. And now, once a woman reaches a certain age, she, she realizes that, hey, I've been making mistakes. I try to make a mistake. Now I want to do the right thing. You know, to me, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with growing. That's that's part, that's growing. That's like saying, you know, hey, I made two, you know what I'm saying? I, I keep making mistakes over and over again. Now I want to get myself right. So, but society saying that a woman, you know, can't do better or can't, it's not right for a woman to have two or three kids or whatever amount of kids she has. I did throw numbers out there. Two different, uh, three different baby daddies. It's not right for her to be promoting abstinence. It's not right for her to be, to, to make the next man wait. That is how a lot of men think in this society. And again, they will ask a woman. So, and again, I heard, I saw this on YouTube, on different men podcasts. And I heard these men say this right here. You know, a man should ask a woman, when a woman tells her that in dating, a man should ask the woman, well, you know, you got three kids, two different baby daddies or three baby daddies. Why? you all of a sudden now want to make me wait. Why all of a sudden now you want to get married? Why was you thinking about that before you, before you laid down and had no kids? But again, they don't, they don't feel the same way about them as a man. They have a kid, a baby mama. The same question should be asked to them. Why you ain't thought about being married, because a man can have all them cheering, eight kids, eight different baby mamas, sleeping around, don't want to get married. Then he finally want to settle down. He don't give everybody his body, get all the cheering. Now he want to settle down, and he want a woman to put up with eight, eight kids and eight baby mamas. So the same question should be asked to that man. Why all of a sudden now you want to settle down and get married, and you want a good woman? Why you want to think about that for you got eight women pregnant? You see what I'm saying? See, men don't look at them as doing something wrong. They always going to look at y'all, the women. You know what I'm saying? In society, I blame society for that. Society don't too much, you know, look down on men who have a lot of baby mamas. Who, you know, but a woman, oh, man. She loses her. She ain't got no value. Stuff like that. And 
every woman, single woman that got kids is not single. Um, because they they did something wrong because they had baby out of wedlock. I, I've got some clients. They're single because they was married and they hugged and cheated on them. Not with one person, by the way. Multiple people couldn't start cheating on them. And he, they tried to make it work. I got some other clients that single because they single and they got two or three or maybe one child because the man was putting hands on them. Do you know what I'm saying? But single women with children are getting looked down upon. Single men with children are not getting looked down upon. Men, a lot of men in this generation look down upon a woman who's single and got who got who got children. Single moms don't have value and stuff like that. But then again, you got a lot of single moms that was once married, that was once married, and they man, and they and they come and put their hands on them. So is is they is it's their fault that they're single with kids. But even then, society say a woman should not leave a man. For, you know what I'm saying, cheating on her, she should stay. A woman should not leave a man for putting hands on never break up the family. See what I'm saying? That's the stuff that been pushed out there. So I want to say this to, to my women, don't be a part of the devil's standard. Don't let society do you like that right now. Save yourself. Save your body. Don't be sleeping around. And this, like I said before, this one thing is a, it's a major turn off to me. All these women out here sleeping around, giving their bodies to a man, you know what I'm saying, who not their husband. You know, and, and me, you know, I'm big on that. You know, I'm big on that. That is just so nasty. And like I said, if a woman ain't been asking for at least two years, I don't want it. I don't want it. That just me. That just me. And, and women should be the same way with men. But most women don't require that. Women should be the same way with men. But most women don't require that. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, queens, be careful what you're doing out here. Stop sleeping around. Stop just giving men your body. Stop just having casual laying around with each other. Stop doing that because you're going to be a part of the devil's standards. Men are going to judge you. Society going to judge you more than they judge anything. They're not going to judge the man. They're going to look at you as not a good woman because you doing this right. It's just the way it is. Now, I used to be that way, but I've learned and matured that everything is not on a woman. You know, those women who got pregnant outside of wedlock, the men, they, they can't do it on their own. It had to be a man that, you know what I'm saying, got them pregnant. But them, the men not getting judged, though. It takes two, but the woman is getting judged. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, a devil standard there, like men, most men, crazy about their daughters. Both men crazy about their daughters. And I'm telling you, I got me a daughter and I'm crazy about my daughter. And my daughter, right now in a relationship, I'm not really happy about it because I think she's too young to be in a relationship. And some things that I heard from her mother that's going on and my ex wife says she don't like them for certain reasons, and I don't blame her for not liking them. And I don't, from what I heard, I don't like them neither. But as my daughter, she grown, she grown, and you know, hey, as long as you don't put your hands on my daughter, I'm good. Cause I'm a keen man. I'm a keen man. Don't get me wrong, I'm a keen man. But that's one thing I don't play by my children. I don't play about my children. My sons are my daughter. You put your hand on, on one of them, you're going to have to deal with daddy. You put your hand on my daughter, you're going to have to deal with the daddy. You see what I'm saying? And I, I, I've been on snap around here and, and, and about my daughter. 
I, I've been having me I, I, I have me a, a prison ministry. I black Paul in silence. You see what I'm saying? Long he put his hands on my daughter, I'm scraped. But but that's why I respect other people's daughters though. See, I learned as a man the same way how you want somebody to treat your daughter, you treat somebody else's child. Because they call it karma, but the world call it karma, but I call it reaping what you're sowing. This is why I respect somebody else's daughter because I want somebody to respect my daughter. I want a man to value my daughter, so I value other people's daughters. And that's a lot of men, oh, they want you to value their daughter. They want you to treat the daughter like a queen, but they, they dog women out. Somebody else dog, they dog her out. You know what I'm saying? That that's that that devil standard. That devil standard, you know. But I treat other people's daughters the way I want somebody to treat my daughter. That's one thing I, I, I live by. You know. Um I never put my hands on a woman because I want nobody putting their hands on my daughter. You know, cheating, all that kind of stuff. I don't I wouldn't do because I want nobody doing that to my daughter. You know, verbally, disrespecting my uh, you know. Daughter, I, I can't. I want. I don't want a man doing that. So I don't do nobody else's daughter that way, because that's how I want my daughter to be treated. So I treat other people's daughter the same way. You see what I'm saying? But don't be a part of the devil's standard, ladies. Because society, I tell y'all, it's harder on women in this generation. It's much harder on women than men. You know, and a lot of it is this, this choices that women make. You know, yeah, I get that. But, you know, society is not going to give women breaks. You know, men get passes for having a lot of kids, for being single. Nobody is pressuring men that's got three kids and single and they 35, 40 years old. But society pressuring women or look at a woman a certain way is she 35 Never been married and got three kids. Something wrong with her because she ain't got a man. Something wrong with her because she ain't have a man. But me can be single and have be 35, 40 years old with eight kids. No, never been married, no wife, no girlfriend, no exclusive relationship, just sleeping around. And he get a pass. He get a pass for that. He get a pass for that. And that is so wrong. But, you know, as a woman, one thing you can take from the video is that you don't want to be a part of the devil's standard. You know, you don't want to. So as a woman, there's another thing, too. Your worth and your value don't come from the world. It comes from God. And you never lose your value. I don't care how many mistakes, how many mistakes you made in your past. I don't care how many men you've been with. I don't care how many kids you have. If you made a decision to change and to and live for God and, and honor God and save yourself for here on out, guess what? In God's eyes, you're a queen. You're still a queen. You're still a queen. No matter what you've been through, you're still a queen. Just say this is a hard dollar bill. I take it and ball it up. Throw it on the ground, pick it back up again, throw it on the ground, step on it. And if I get to you, any one of y'all watching your video and say, here, here go a hundred dollar bill. You still take the hundred dollar bill, right? Why? Because it still has value. Even though it's been balled up, even though it's been thrown on the ground, stepped on, it still has value. You still can spend it. And that's the same thing to you queens who made a mistake and you want better in your life. Forget society. Screw them. You keep doing what you're doing. Keep your head up. Because guess what? You've been through a lot. You've been dragged through the mud. You've been cheated on. That's why you got three kids and you single. Because you got tired of cheating. That's why you got kids and you don't have a husband. Because you got tired of being abused. Of being your hand put on them. And now you want to do the right thing and, and, and wait on God? Keep your head up, my sister. You still got value. 
Don't be a part of Devil's Dunner. Eddie Coach Rod, God bless y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Like I always tell y'all, man, I appreciate y'all support, y'all love. Everything you do for me, I really do. I don't kind of like it. You know, the cash shots I get sometimes, I don't even ask. Y'all just saw my, y'all just sold to my life. Um, the support I get on my channel, the thumbs up. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. I really do appreciate y'all so much. Um, just keep me in your prayers. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, you know, with my eczema, my skin the condition, you know, it, it's going to take some time. Like I said, I have gotten my first injection. I get my next injection next Monday. Not this Monday, but the next Monday. So, you know, it's, it's going to get better. My eczema is going to get better. So, y'all, just keep me in your prayers, and I do the same for y'all. If you need coaching, the need for coaching is going to be inside the description box. Click on that link. If you don't know, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. The link for that is going to be inside the description box. And also, I'm going to author the book called Queen Do Not Settle. The link for that is inside the description box as well. I'm working on my second book. Right now, I just got to get it edited and get it, you know, out there. Uh, get it edited and, and um, get the cover and, and stuff like that. I'm working on that. That should be coming out within months. Uh, if I get that book published, I'm going to write my third book. My third book is going to be, I think, going to be the best book. It's going to be the best book. Um, I don't know if I should get a name out yet, the title out yet, but it's going to be a good book. But anyways, hey, thank y'all so much. God bless y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon.